Welcome to Radical Underdogs, and we have been sitting on the grid for quite some time now, waiting for the race to get going. You'll notice that the lap timer is missing from the centre console, and that is a whole debate in, of, in, in and of itself. Well, anyway, we're about to get underway because the five minute board is up, uh, and then the 30 second board often comes up straight away after that. Uh, we're keen to get the race going. You can see the revs are rising. 30 second board is up. Five second board will come up and then we'll get the lights on and off and we will be racing at Snetterton for the first time. We are all waiting for... Oh, and there's a green flag being waved, which means we are going around again for a green flag lap. So there must be something out on the circuit that requires the cars to go around again. Not everyone has got the message that this is a second green flag lap. So uh, Peter Williams is actually alongside us. He's actually ahead. So um, I did... But actually behind us you can see cars making their way through this is a green flag lap we're not racing some cars have got that message and some cars haven't um so peter williams i think has got the message he's the one in front of me jordan head you can see weaving in the red car the white car making his way through um, does realize you skip a bit ahead he does realize that actually this is a uh, a green flag lap again and not a uh, racing situation the thing is enough people were getting this wrong that they eventually showed the red flag and um, which did stop people racing it's quite a dangerous situation obviously if you've got people um, on the grid some racing some not anyway we're about to race properly now and the lights are on and they are off and we are going this time in the sets we've got loads of wheel spin absolutely tons of wheel spin i don't know why that happened well the differential has been going for a while now it doesn't really do much limited slipping anymore uh, but we have yeah, had loads of wheels being off the line, already lost the position, and that was Christian Dan coming up from behind to get through into position, well, 14, I guess he is now. Got another car down on the inside. We've got a really bad start down here at Stetterton. You can see we're looking behind us, but going around the outside, and all the way around the outside, defending that position from Simon Privet there behind us, and we've got the Misty Racing car alongside us, but we're gonna keep the position as we get the inside line for Palmer for the first time. And actually, Peter Williams has gone wide, so we're going to get that position as well. We're back on the march, back up to position 15. Uh, you can see alongside as we go, we've got the inside line. It's a really good place to pass because you've definitely got the inside line into the hairpin at Agostini, where the cars are backing up. So actually, I'm a bit in no man's land, so not really on the inside, not really on the outside. But it hasn't really mattered because, again, as I say, the cars are all backing up. Got Christian Dan up ahead of us in that blue car. And there's a bit of a Constantina effect as almost flat out normally uh, going down into Hamilton. But this time there was a bit of a Constantina effect and old cars are being caught out. That's car 73, Adam Lawrence on the inside making his way back past Christian Dan and actually making up past Simon Waterfall as well in that car 24. We're under pressure from behind as well as you go across the, around Williams, which is absolutely essential for the speed down the Bentley straight. This is one of the long, I say this every time I go racing, but this is one of the longest straights in club motorsport. You are bouncing off the limiter in fourth when you get to the end under the bridge so you have to debate whether you go up into fifth or not and I, I, it depends on the exit really sometimes or the wind conditions and the tow etc uh, so down in to the complex of Brundle Nelson and there's a car facing the other way that was Jack Worry who was facing the well sideways uh, as on the exit of Nelson and well all cars making it through safely Oh, so it's Christian Tan seeing the gap and then it closing uh, in front of him uh, with Simon Waterfall closing the gap as we go around Corum into the braking zone for Murray's. Again, a really tricky sequence of corners that. So Brundle, Nelson, I mean, bomb holes basically flat out in the MX-5. And then you've got Corum, which is sort of on the limit of adhesion going around on the right-hander and straight into that left-hander. What a wonderful sequence of corners at Snetterton. 300 circuit across the line and you can see they're floating up ahead and it's really important not to fight too much in the early laps because the cars ahead then get away from you and it's difficult to pick up the slipstream again especially if they're working together so with that in mind you can't obviously get into a group that's slower than the group in front so it is a real balancing act here we're right behind Christian Dan and we are kind of fighting the position but actually we're just sort of saying let's get let's get on with this race and let's try and stick with the lead group you can still see the leaders up ahead so we're still very much in touch 
with the Lee Group in this Master MX5 Clubman Championship race. We're going to skip ahead to lap three, and you can see the cars are fighting up ahead, and Christian's struggled to get the power down on the exit, and we got a good run as we go down to Palmer, but I think not enough of a run to get alongside. And again, it's a really only a tiny tap of the brakes to get the car rotated into that corner rather than a full-on braking zone. But if you do get a good run out of here, then you get the inside line potentially down into Agostini. But I've said the sort of international uh, sign language symbol for, I'm not going to fight this one, let's just get on with it. Because the important thing is if we were to start fighting now, we would lose the slipstream down the back straight as well. And these cars up ahead are the positions we really want, not really about fighting for position 13, which is what Christian has at the moment. Behind me, you can see actually a pretty clear track. Christian really pushing the track limits there. You've got to be careful because there are lots of places around the Snetterton circuit that you get an advantage. <laughs> He's really pushing hard, but that pushing a little bit too hard, getting out of shape as we go around um, Williams, I think, for, to get the run onto the back straight. And it's really important, as I said, to pick up the slipstream. So this time around, I think we're a little bit too far back to dip out of the slipstream and get past Christian Dan because we're already halfway down the straight. So oh, <laughs> moving around there could all go wrong if you end up getting that bump draft remover wrong. But it all turned out OK as we break down into Brundle. I break a little bit earlier and I get the power on earlier. So there's two different lines, well, actually, especially this time with Christian going off the circuit, uh, spraying dust into our eyes. But we are actually lost out a little bit through that corner. So maybe my my line there was a bit slower. But as we go around Corum, we are coming back into contention here, but we're way too far. I can cars passing. You can see cars off on the grass. And I think that might be Jamie Turner in that purple number nine car who was off. And there was one other car as well. So we're up to position 12, uh, which is great because it's num uh, position 10, top 10 is what we want uh, as the target for the whole season. So this is totally looking on, especially off the road with Simon Waterfall coming back on. He's very slow and we locked wheels. We have got it stopped in time. And, and as off the road as well is 73 Adam Lawrence. He's struggling to get the power down and get it back onto the circuit. I say thank you to Simon for not turning in. He could have legitimately turned into that corner and there would have been an accident because I wouldn't have got it slowed down. So the fact that Simon actually left the car's whip on the inside uh, enabled obviously me to take the position, but it stopped us coming together. So I did say thank you to Simon for that. Um, it was yeah excellent racing. And Simon, Adam Lawrence from a long, long way back has come through on the inside i've sort of always repaid that favor but to the wrong person by leaving the door open there uh, again if i closed the door there totally would have been an accident so in a way you sort of you know leave the door open or you have an accident he's gonna try and do the same move down into oggies it's not really the place to pass like that he's got the power down and he's cut across and into the barriers uh, as Simon Waterfall takes the position again. But let's have another look at that because there was a bit of contact. You see, getting a bit out of shape. I've taken as much of the inside line as I possibly can. He's chopped across, I think, having his own incident. Has Adam there. And he is tagged to the front of the car. You know, there was nowhere for me to go at that point. The car can't disappear. There was loads of room on the outside for him to use, but none on that inside line because I was there. Uh, so ends up in the barriers, but he does keep on going. We keep on going as well. There is a bit of damage to the front left of the car, and you'll see that later on as we try and turn corners that the wheel does start contacting the front wing. But we're a bit oblivious to that at the moment. Simon Waterfall is up ahead of us. We're trying to tell him we're not going to fight because actually, again, position 11, we're totally on for this top 10 and we just need to get going and get away from the cars behind. There are definitely some fast cars that have come off the circuit in this in this race so far. And so it's really important that we stay ahead of them by working together and not fighting too much. Obviously, if people are slower than you, it's important to get past them as well because we're all here to race as well. So through that tricky corner of Corum into the braking zone for Murray's. I stay in third. Again, there are two corners on this track where some people get and Simon's pulling off. He's got a problem. So Simon pulling off into the pits later discovered to be a differential issue. I don't know if that was related to him going off the circuit the lap prior. But uh, Simon pulling off into the pits will take no, no further part in this race. Meanwhile, actually, we've got Jack 
Worry, who was off the circuit, I think, in lap one. You can see him behind us. There's no point really fighting this one too hard. Jack is a front-running driver and will get past sooner or later. And like I said, he's a lot, lot, really um, locked up a few wheels going into Montreal, but he got the pass done. And you can see that we also had the issue of our wheels contacting the front wing there as well. So very noisy pass that down into Montreal. We're on to the last lap of the race now, if you can believe it. Still in position 11. That top 10 is one car length in front of us. And Christian Dan is very much under pressure here. There is a yellow flag as we go through Hamilton. So there's not going to be a way through as we go into this last time through the section of corners. It's really important to get a good exit. We got a little bit and he's... There's also obviously a bit of a slippery section of track there. He's definitely found it tricky to get the power down. As we go through Williams for the last time, the slipstream will be absolutely essential. He's gone off the circuit using all the track and a bit more. We've got a good slipstream. Now the question is, do you go use fourth or do you go into fifth? I've chosen to stay in fourth for the time being, going up to fifth. Can I get any more torque out of this engine as we go down the outside? But no, not quite enough. Christian holds on to the position as we go through Brundle Nelson. There's only one last chance on this racetrack and it is a it, it move down the inside into Murray's. Now that is a very tricky one to get right. It has been done. I have done it before in previous races. I don't think they're going to be close enough. Not unless Christian makes a mistake. He is under an awful lot of pressure not to make a mistake because that is the only way he can keep his top 10 position. As we go through Corum for the last time, gets the nails the braking zone. We're down into third gear. I think he goes into second sometimes for this corner, but you know, there's there's little there's a not much very much in it uh, when you go down first as uh, the second and third for that corner, and there's a much less risk of you getting fifth on the upshift as well across the line. Not quite tenth, eleventh, but here we go. Joy Car three. Jordan Head has been disqualified for being underway. He finished in his best position of the season in position five. That promotes us to position 10, and that is our goal for the season, a top 10 finish in the Master MX-5 Clubman Championship. It is my first top 10 finish ever in the four years I've been doing this, so I don't know it yet, but I have achieved that. <laughs> can hear the car scraping the front wing but that is the first time I've achieved a top 10 position I think it's a really good race there Christian as well uh, pretty clean racing putting under a lot of pressure he, he, he soaked it up didn't make too many mistakes so I think that was a, a really good race for the Mazda MX-5 Club in Championship thank you very much for watching if you have watched please do like and subscribe it does help the algorithm it helps this channel out immensely uh, especially on the subscriber count because we're still below that magic number where we can get <laughs> any money at all for making these videos so it'd be great if we had a few more subscribers so please do press that if uh, if you're just thinking about it uh, thank you very much for watching catch us again in race two where we're starting in position 10 can we get that single figure finish <laughs>